Well, here we are. Kaboom, did you hear that? Yeah. Apparently down in Florida, it is customary to blow off fireworks on New Year's Eve. That was never something we uh, did up in Mass. Of course, fireworks are illegal in Massachusetts, so I suppose had I gone over the border to New Hampshire on New Year's Eve, there would have been plenty of explosions. They started around 5 o'clock p.m., and have been going ever since. So, Yahoo! Probably on Valentine's Day, I think that they blow off fireworks. Uh, they're completely legal. You can get them. Well, you can't get them in a convenience store that I've noticed, but there's plenty of shops specifically dedicated to them. So anyway, enough of the explosions. You'll be hearing them throughout this uh, video blog. And yeah, I've, uh, I've done quite a few lately. Um, including one that just was me testing this camera. As I mentioned, we're having some technical issues with uh, the computer. <sighs> it's reaching that obsolescence point. Every, excuse me, every five years or more, computers have what uh, they'll never admit, like the manufacturers, and they will never say this, but there is something that we've noticed in the tech world as a built-in obsolescence. It's like cars also uh, tend to have that five, six, seven year, pretty much the length of the warranty. <coughs> yes, and because um, otherwise no one would buy new computers, new cars. I'm actually looking forward to buying a new computer because now they have this terabyte worth of memory that comes standard. A terabyte is 100,000 gigabytes. You imagine that? Uh, like a gigabyte is one hundred thousand megabytes. You know, I'm mean, gonna upping the ante. So I'm thinking of like spending the extra fifty bucks and getting two terabytes. I used to call them trigabytes because I don't know why, but terabytes. And uh, last I looked, because we've been having some goofy problems with the computer, going back like now seven eight months. Um, you could still get Windows 7, which is very important because both 8 and 10 stink. There was no 9. Uh, but there was like an 8 and a half. They kind of called sort of 9. So I, I'm not looking forward to 10 being forced upon me. And I'm not a savvy enough with the hardware to build my own machine. You know, and buy this separate component. I mean, some people are marvelous at that. You know, they can build their own components and then load the software they want. Yeah. They also use Linux and uh, don't even bother with Windows. Um, I'm not that, that savvy with it. So uh, we'll see. That's, that's, you know, you know 2017, I, you know, I don't subscribe to the, oh, God, I hope 2017 is so much better than 2016. Because people have been saying that since 1980, uh, pretty much. Oh, God, I hope the, you know, 81's better than 80 and 82's better than 80. And, and no, they're not. You know, the same amount, roughly, of good and bad happen in each year. In certain years, you have tremendously terrific things, and some years you have tremendously bad things that's, you know, become part of the culture, like, uh, September 11th, 2001. Now, 2001, obviously, from, for that event alone, was an absolutely horrible year. And 1980, John Lennon's murder made that whole year, you know, a major cloud. Um, but, you know, I mean, but other than those extraordinary events, every year is every year. So, where am I? I'm with the poetry book. Uh, I'm up to 100. Poems, and I haven't finished that uh, fourth section just yet. And I'm thinking, okay, um, do I want to keep my promise to myself and just keep going right through the whole fifth section and then see where I'm at? Or do I want to stop at 100? Or maybe, well, in all actuality, I have three sections, what I call fragments. Very short, four-line, maybe five-line poems um, that are all on one page. So I have three fragment sections. So in reality, the 100 is 97. So let me pop in, say, the rest of what's in four. 
and then call the call the distributor. Tell them, look, I've got you know 110, let's say, poems. You know, I don't really see a way of cutting it in half yet. I and I and I really feel they work well as a unit. Um, how much of a no no, football? How much of a football is that? You know, is it really like, oh my God, it's unacceptable, new poets don't do this, no one's going to review it, you know, they're just not going to be able to get through it. I don't know. And then I'll call Rita's favorite, Mike, the only place that actually reviews and does what it promises to, and tell them, and I think I mentioned this before, that yes, I'd like five reviewers to give it, a, give it their opinion, but they don't have to do it in two weeks. Give them, you know, a month. Because there's 110 poems. You know, I don't want them to feel like <laughs> they got to rush through the thing. Okay, uh, the new video. Uh, well, the one video for the no, for the, the new video for the old song, Lovers in a Dangerous World, was uploaded on the 29th. Since the album will be coming out on the 9th. I figured that's, you know, 9th, 29th, you know, whatever. About a, about a week and a couple of days, you know, in advance. Already, it's averaging about a thousand views a day, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the views are coming from all over the world. Once again, my international audience, God bless them, uh, has have not forgotten me. So I'm getting all kinds of things from you know Asia, Central Europe, um, really, you know, the United States ranks at the moment 25 out of 109 countries, and. You know, you know, I do well on Pandora and Spotify with the U.S. because I think of Pandora. Pandora plays the same songs from the two and one, two on one album, and those songs tend to be the top downloads on from Spotify streaming downloads every year. Uh, actually, before I was on Pandora, that that. Those albums, Born at Night, and All That's Left is All That Remain, stood out. Um, and they've always done well. So, but Pandora, you know, exposure, which is only in the U.S., um, makes the U.S. the number one streaming download, whereas the videos are all over the world, with U.S. sort of kind of fitting in there, you know, in, the, in 25 of the top you know, top hundred and well, the only hundred and nine at the moment for for the video. Um, again, it's only been up for a few days, so we'll see. Uh, you know, when all is said and done, when I stop the promotion, and yes, it's not just taken off by itself because otherwise, no one would know what was there if I didn't pay for a promotion. It's just how it is. So yes, I am running a paid promotion, and I don't monetize. Why? So I don't want ads appearing during my video or before my video. I hate them. When I go to watch a video from anybody and there's a freaking ad, you know, in the middle of the video, like, you know, uh, click here to see someone else's video. I'm like, well, no, I'm watching motion devices video. Not that they monetize, but I'm just saying, I don't want to see somebody else's video while I'm watching what I'm watching. You know, really annoying. So I don't want to annoy people. So I don't make anything from all the hits I get. But that's just how it is. Okay, is there anything else pertinent? Not really. Well, I've got Nicole's, one of her, uh, Team Nicole, supportive uh, shirts. Even though she's leukemia-free, she's not out of the woods, she's uh, not feeling at all very well. She hasn't detailed why. Uh, to anyone or to me privately when I messaged her asking her, you know, what was wrong. Um, I assume it, it could be just a cold. Like one of the other leukemia uh, survivors, uh, a girl named Becca, she uh, had the flu. But her parents, of course, were really frantic because of the temperature um, uh, that she had. And that was always a terrible indication when she had leukemia, if her temperature went up. That could be a bad, bad, you know, like immediately emergency room thing. Um, so I'm hoping it's it's nothing serious. Her birthday is coming up on the 11th. I'm sending this card and I'm getting her a couple of music CDs from the 
Uh, now that's what they call music collection. So, uh, God bless her. As always, uh, she's my inspiration to keep going. Because she kept going when, really, she didn't feel like it. She kept going. And uh, I could really say a lot, all of them. You know, Nicole stands out to me because I became close to her and her mother and writing and talk. you know, really, you know, uh, more than the others. But, you know, Becca Boo, girl who calls herself rock star, uh, doesn't use her real name. Her mother didn't want her real name known, I guess. Uh, another leukemia survivor. Um, you know, they, they, they all kept going and kept fighting. And, uh, I'd also like to say a shout out to Ellie, uh, uh, Walton. She's a little girl, four years old, has had 10 brain surgeries. And, uh, now she has the cancer in her brain has moved to her brain stem and that's it. Doctors can't do anything else. So, uh, a prayer vigil has been started for a miracle, because that's what it will take. Ten surgeries. She's still, according to our medicine, she's going to die anyway. I can't tell you how angry that makes me. Anyway, have a good one.